Hello you beautiful people and welcome to another whiskey review with me, The Whiskey Novice. Thank you for joining me for review number 235 and part 2 of a series of Baker's Dozen as I call it, 13 12 year old Scottish single malts. This is the fourth time I've run a series like this. There are lots and lots of 12 year old Scottish single malts out there, although I'm starting to run out of them. Uh, but, but, quite a few to come yet, don't worry about that. And this time it's the turn of Glen Kinchy, a lowland distillery. Uh, the Edinburgh Malt, although as I'm sure some of us already know, there's quite a few more of them nowadays. They're, they're hardly the only Edinburgh Malt. But uh, Glen Kinchy Diageo owned this one, their 12-year-old, bottled at 43%. Sort of typical uh, Diageo till filter colour added. Yes, yes, uh-huh. So, I mean, here we go. Let's let's not dally and, and we'll get stuck in. Glen Kinchy, uh 12, as I said, it's another one of those. Now, before we get too far into this, I'll do what I do sometimes. I'll, I'll let it out there straight away and say to you, it may be calling itself a lowland distillery, but expect more of a, a traditional space ID feel, is the way I'm going to put it. Because that's what I'm getting here. It's all about those, and I'm going to say, eight, almost atypical uh, space ID sort of feels of honey. Apple, uh, honeysuckle, it's sweet, it's fruity, it's slightly malty, yes. I said apple, um, I would even go one further and say toffee apple, golden syrup, and, and definitely barley sugar. <laughs> There's a, It's a bit like my previous review of the uh, Glen Murray 12 year old, where all of those are in place. If, if you were to tell me this was a space side, I would just say, well, it's a sort of typical space side. Lowland doesn't really make the big difference anymore anyway, because a lot of those lines have been blurred between the regions. And, and let's face it, they are just Lowland and no more. But yeah, that's the sort of thing they expect. It's all about those sweet fruit, nothing wrong with it. Not a damn thing wrong with it. So we'll go into the palette. Lovely, soft, sweet and sour delivery. Creamy and coating. And when I was writing my tasting notes, I was very pleased with myself. Pride, pride took over because this had a feel about it and not having one of those computerized memories where I can just remember things off the top of my head I thought to myself are these guys using a worm tub perhaps because it just had a feel about it and I was delighted because they do uh, they are using a worm tub and it just has that sort of it's not the dirtiest of whiskies I've ever had but that feel is definitely there and there's, there's more heft just because of that worm tub. As a matter of fact, and this might seem a little weird, but that heft or that worm tub becomes even more noticeable with a drop of water and we'll, we'll get there afterward. Honey, barley sugar, apple, you know. I don't think there's an awful lot more you can say about this. It just looks, tastes, and acts like a, a, a space-side whiskey, if if there's such a thing as a traditional space-side feel. That bit of heft, that bit of body from using the worm tub definitely helps. It definitely brings more to the palate, more to the mouth feel. Finish relatively short uh, it's a bright almost lime uh, lime chilli finish heat that comes through there although not a lot of flavour carried through with that not a lot to write home about not a lot of bad things to say about it once again <sighs> To say mediocre is maybe a bit strong. 
Um, because I don't like to take it away from these whiskies. As once again, I said in my review of the Glenmorey, 12 year old, there's nothing wrong with this. I can't fault something that there's nothing wrong with because it's not trying to be something that it isn't. It's a simple 12 year old malt, 40 to 45 pounds a bottle. Not the sort of whiskey that an awful lot of people would rush out and buy, in my opinion, but then it is just an opinion. Drop of water. Very, very creamy thing off the nose. It's like, it's actually like vanilla ice cream. It's just got that real vanilla uh, and malt thing, but it, it's so creamy that it actually does nose like vanilla ice cream. And, and as I said earlier, that worm tub, that worm tub condenser is now even playing its part on the nose. Now, to say that I had convinced myself anyway that that's nosing thicker because I know now that they, they were using a worm tub, it was actually, <laughs> it was actually whenever I was doing my tasting notes when I nosed it with water in it at first that I went, hold on. These guys are using a worm tub. I think they're using a worm tub. And as I said, I, I looked it up and sure enough, very pleased with myself. Mm. So. Mm. Drop of water. Doesn't change it an awful lot. Softens it, rounds the edges as some, as generally it does. Still very creamy. Uh, falls a little flat on the back of the palate. There's a bit of that, I talk about the iron, metallic, slight metallic note. Which I'm not a huge fan of. It's, it's here slightly. Not overpowering. Not terribly off-putting. Finish doesn't change much. Some of that, it wasn't a massive heat in, the, in there anyway, but some of that disappears a bit. Do you know, uh, hmm. I'm going to say it again, inoffensive, inoffensive. Remembering this is still a 12 year old malt, 40 to 45 pounds, 43%. That's not bad. It's not bad. Will I replace it? No, because, well, because there's other whiskies that, nose and feel and taste like this but are better if that makes sense and i'm going to suggest one to you in a moment yes so i was going to suggest to you a whiskey or and this is just one that to me nose is similar feels similar tastes similar but it's just, in my opinion, a bit better. And in this case, it's the Kraken Moor 12. I'll be reviewing this soon. Uh, surprised I've never actually got around to reviewing it before now, why it didn't hit a, another series of, of uh, 12 year old Scottish single malts, but uh, some slipped through the net. And uh, once again, the As You Owned. And just, you know, still sort of distilleries who are making. And I've said it many times before about these sort of, I don't know, Glen Kenshi's a lowland, but these sort of space idy feeling. Uh, Diageo owned distilleries, mostly known in blend fodder, mostly show up, I'm going to suggest, in Johnny Walker. But the Kraken Moor for me is just a slightly better feeling whiskey than the Glen Kenshi. Once again, uh, worm tubs, I believe Kraken Moor are using. Hmm. But as I said, I'll be reviewing this soon. So uh, for me, if Glen Kenshi 12 year old is your thing, maybe try and step it up a little. Crag and more 12 year old around the same price, I think. So uh, yeah, give it a go. Give it a go. Simple, not going to go too deep into this because there's not a lot of depth in it. We'll wrap it up at that and I'll just say thank you very much as usual. Thank you very, very much to my patrons. Should anybody wish to join that group, details are in the video description below. Uh, I'll be back next time with something slightly different, but very similar. 
Until then, look after yourselves. Here's to your good health. Cheers. Hey, thanks for watching my video. Please click and subscribe to be notified of further content.